Hi, my name is John Flett, and I'm a pediatrician who's been in practice for over 20 years. And to me, every day is like an absolute pleasure. I don't even think about coming to work. It's a complete pleasure to be surrounded by new, young, exciting little minds. And if I think back in my journey, I started off as a general practitioner uh, in a general practice. And very quickly, I knew that those little minds are the ones that really got me going. And of course, you know, uh, my, my job's parents, uh, parents and children. And I see them right from the time they start, even if they're born premature, right through until they're at university. It is an absolute pleasure and an honor to be involved with parents and their journeys. And I deal with children right from the time they're born, if they're born premature, whether they're born three months premature. And I've dealt with children that have been very small, that have weighed less than 500 grams, and seen them actually grow up, right up until they've finished school. And what I enjoy is being able to interact with parents. And you know, every time I see a child at birth, my mind casts back to the time that my kids were born. And uh, my daughter was born uh, while I was studying in the UK. And um, I initially trained as a pediatrician in the UK, came back to South Africa, went and finished my training and wrote the South African exam in Johannesburg, and then arrived in Durban, and I've been here for 20 years. And I have a family, a wonderful family. I've got a wonderful wife and two children, and I understand what it's like to have challenges and see children grow up. My job is to help parents understand. My real passion is, in fact, for teaching. For teaching parents sharing and helping them have an insight into exactly how to understand problems because my feeling is if you understand you empowered with knowledge and you know how to act so i see newborns i see children as they grow up and i have an enormous passion for children when they get to school understanding those little minds and I've created an organization called Guide Little Minds, and it helps children who think and learn differently. And we are involved in an organization. We've created a Facebook group. We have a separate organization where I've created courses. I've created information to assist parents, understanding that children think and learn differently. Every mind, every brain is different, every brain thinks differently, and each brain will find its way. It finds its way on the right track. I find myself as a pediatrician as acting like a guide. You know, I'm somebody who is in the car as a guide next to you as parents, and my job is to help you understand your child as their development unfolds. And there are lots of little twists and turns. And I feel that I'm able to contribute to guide parents in the right direction, making sure they don't turn left instead of right, and hopefully reach the right destination and uh, get there with a air of confidence. My huge passion is for helping children with learning problems, developmental problems, and particularly with ADHD. I enjoy and understand children at a very deep level. I've spent an enormous amount of time studying, attending overseas congresses, extensively reading. I do lots of talks. I do lots of training for parents, helping them understand what it's like to have a child who has challenges. Another part of my job is I interact with teachers a lot. I interact with lots of other professionals as a team approach to help everybody who is involved with that child's learning and development to truly have a deeper understanding of what it's like 
to have a child with challenges and to overcome those challenges and to develop plans and strategies to help parents meet their aspirations and their wishes and their desires and their future goals with their children. You know, the other thing that I enjoy doing is I enjoy the ability to have a chat, just having parents every day in my practice talking about problems. And you know, there is no stupid question. A lot of parents feel that they are asking silly questions. In 20 years, I've never heard parents ask a stupid question. I've never heard a child who was a child who really tried to make their parents' life difficult. You know, children don't sit and plot against their parents. They want to please. They want to do what's right. And when there's a problem, often there's an underlying reason for that. And a lot of problems in children only get detected when they get to school. As the abilities unfold, as the challenges increase, these problems are unmasked. And um, it's when they get to school and interact with friends, making friends, learning, that some of these problems are detected. And that is where we often see children uh, with their learning and particularly challenged with their concentration and their behavior. So I'm somebody who is always available to parents I enjoy talking and discussing. I'm the kind of doctor who enjoys talking to parents, interacting, and making sure that I empower parents with knowledge. My job is to be a guide and help parents along a journey to get to the end of the destination that they aspire to for their children.